Hey everybody, Coach Rob here, Performance Sports Academy, back again. We're here to talk about today, youth athletic development, all right? Often I get calls and I get inquiries about uh, youth athletes. When I say youth athletes, I mean the age of 10 and below. So the question a lot of times is, hey coach, my son or daughter is not that athletically gifted. They're playing a sport and they're just not very good. Um, they can't run. It's like they got two left feet. Uh, we want to get some privatized personal training or, you know, we want to we want to get some training. All right. The last call I got um, that really brought this topic to the forefront for me was was about a seven year old. All right. It was about a seven year old boy. Um, and they, this is his first year playing soccer. Uh, and it was like his parents said he just can't run. You know, he does not run. He gets two left. He just doesn't know how to run at all. And uh and the parents just, you know, felt some kind of way that he just sucked. And uh, and one of my one of my advice to them, because one of the things I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not one of those trainers. I'm not going to take your money. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to advise training uh, for uh, special training for athletes 10 and below. If that's something parents want to do, that's great and all. But one of my number one recommendation is for athletes, for, for parents of, ath of youth athletes that want to develop them athletically. Number one, do not succumb to the winning culture right now. And, and most eight you phenoms, uh, most seven and eight year old phenoms do not hold. Uh, they do not hold that uh, um, that level uh, throughout their days, throughout their high school days, throughout their college days. They just do not hold that level. Most of them, most of the athletes who are going to be smaller. Uh, they tend to have better fine motor skills earlier on. Um, a lot of, a, a lot, most athletes who, uh, it takes them a while to de develop those fine motor patterns. It takes them a while to kind of get going, especially the guys who are like 6'5". Usain Bolt, ladies and gentlemen, was not uh, Usain Bolt at uh, seven years old. He's going to be 6'5". When you're at those early stages of development, you know, you got to learn. You, you know what I'm saying? Your legs go on one way, your feet go on the other way. Um, so that's one of my things. My number one recommendation, I tell you, do not succumb to the uh, to the winning culture and the youth and the youth development that we have that we see that's out there all over the social media. Um, and the, the the second thing off of that is to put your kids in as many sports as possible. Uh, my recommendation is if you want to develop a complete athlete. Now we got it. I know I want Johnny to be a football player. Granddad was a football player. You know, all my brothers were football players. Uh, everybody in the family plays football. Put them in something else. You're coming up. Put them in something. Allow your athlete to suck. It's okay. They're not very good at basketball because they got to learn those fine motor patterns for basketball. They're not very good at baseball. They're not very good at wrestling. Keep your kid busy all year long. Not playing that one sport you do not need specialized training it's going to save you on a uh in your purse you, you, your kid will learn to compete number one learning to compete and having fun you know what i'm saying with teammates is imperative for athletic development in the in the long run i can't stress this enough we see it a lot of times there's a lot of kids who like i said they develop early on and the other ones develop later on if you want to see your athletes succeed, put them in as many sports as possible. Some they're really going to love and some they may not love as much. 
as you start to get older and you start to get past the age of 10 years old, then we can start to kind of settle down and start to figure out what sports that we want to settle Johnny or Susie in. You know, we, we, we want to find out, uh, you know, like, so they say, you know, she likes more basketball. She likes more volleyball. They like more track and field. Then we can, we, we can do that. I would tell you I have a lot of athletes that I train, and a lot of high school standout varsity athletes that I train who did another sport. You know, they went from competitive, a competitive cheer to a high jumper. They went from a gymnast to a track and field athlete. They went from a soccer athlete to a football athlete. You know, whatever the case may be, these kids will change their mind. It, but what's going to keep them going on the athletic side is them being a overall better athlete. I'm, I can, I can, look, parents, athlete, parents of young, youth athletes, if you want to develop your athletes, this is what I can say the most. Take your time. Do not get caught up in the winning culture. Put your athletes into sports that they will, number one, learn, learn fundamentals, and number two, have fun. That's Coach Rob from Performance Sports Academy. Appreciate y'all time.